December 28th, 2016. I'm Dana, your host, the nuclear proctologist, sometimes, and dot org. And we got a major event in Japan, and we got a news blackout for some reason. We are here to try to work out what's going on. Why are we being, being deceived? And if you hang around for a few moments, you'll understand. Because we make everything really clear. We're not here because we want to. We're here because we have to be here. A few technical difficulties, and we're up and running. Voila. All right. Here we go. Make sure I turn that off. <laughs> okay. Now, think about um, 36 days ago, 37 days ago, there was a 7.4 quake. And everybody came out and screamed. Now, a 7.4 is completely different than what we're hearing today. What we're hearing today is a 6.3 on a, out of a 7 scale. So you couldn't get a 7.4. So one earthquake, 7.4. And the next one, which we haven't imported because it just happened and... There's reasons. Make that a little bit better. Okay. And so the, the earthquake. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have me that happened. Oh, this new crazy mother was offshore. This was way, uh, you know, it wasn't way offshore. It was 18 miles off. Wait for it. Uh, hang on, I'll find it. It was 18 miles off. I got something done here. We'll find it. It was 18 miles off the coastline and six miles down. This was um, 36 days ago. And it was 35 kilometers away. It was offshore. Out in the ocean. Now, the one we had this morning down there was on land. It was right under the land. And CNN hasn't mentioned it. NBC, ABC, Fox News haven't mentioned it. This is over five hours. Nobody's mentioned it. The New York Times haven't mentioned it. Drudge hasn't got it up there. The Drudge Report. Nobody is talking about an earthquake right under the land. 10 kilometers deep, six miles down, which is frighteningly shallow. Good morning, everybody. Hello, everybody. And good morning, be strong and thirst. Elaine, fans filtration. Good morning, everybody. Albert, Neil. Good morning, Kate, which is be strong, be yourself. Hello, everybody. Good morning <laughs> for what it is, right? I'll turn it down. Hang on. Got Dina. Loud music in the morning. Dina, what the freak? Got past me. I'll check the next one. Make sure. No, if the other ones were okay. I must have went back one extra and ended up with that one. I like it. So now, what this means for everybody on this planet? Uh, I also want to point out 
how this story from November the 21st is still being uploaded all day. The videos of nothing are being uploaded all the day, but there was stuff that happened there. But they've been uploading the same story all day, every day. And look at what InfoWars headlines right away was earthquake strikes near radioactive Fukushima plant. It was offshore. Uh, yes, it was close to the plant. I agree, it deserved a salacious headline. But what about today's that actually did strike on land, right under land? See, there's a big difference when it strikes under land. This is a devastating compared. Now, once again, 7.3 is the Richter, Richter scale. Today's earthquake is 6.3 out of a 7 scale, so it's a 9. So today's earthquake would be a 9. It's on land. It's only 6 miles down. And CNN doesn't say something. Fox don't say something. MSNBC don't say something. BBC doesn't say something. CBC doesn't say a friggin' word. I'll show you why. I'll show you why. Because the billings are not stable. They've been feeding you a fable. This is bad news, folks. These are homeless and destitute and victims of society. Anybody that close to the left, the one on the right is the fake one they claim is the left. The people on the right are dead. Anybody within 300 feet dies. They use the homeless to clean up the right and special, you know, like robotic equipment. But the buildings should be 190 foot high. Whatever's left there is still highly dangerous. Obviously, they detonated this building three to your left. It's supposed to be a 190 foot high building like the one on the right. 150 feet by 150 feet on the, on the left by, 100, uh, by 190 feet high. There's 60 feet underground on the left. We're not counting that as the 190 foot because it's 190 foot. These are massive buildings, 190 foot up from the ground. So we're worried about right now, incredible, and, and we have, we have to. The whole world should be terrified and frozen in fear, petrified that the media is not doing any job whatsoever. It's a blackout. We got a news blackout on a major 9.0 Richter scale, 6.3 out of 7 on a Japanese scale, and major aftershocks will follow. Total blackout. Never seen the likes of that in any earthquake history. If it was a coal plant, nobody would even blink. But it's a nuclear power plant. Every every time you have an earthquake anywhere, they freak out about it all over, right? Every time you have an earthquake around a coal power plant, they don't got to pass out iodine pills. They don't got to have stories. No leak from the coal plant today during a massive earthquake or a small earthquake. No, none of that. If, if a, there's an oil facility nearby and there's an earthquake, you don't see the media coming out. There was no oil release from the oil facility after an oil. All reading seems to be fine. Emergency crews are standing by to evacuate the communities. The media is ready to spin it. The universities are ready to apologize. Hi, everybody. Elaine says even USGS played it down. Oh yeah, there was some reports, don't get me wrong, and they played it down from a 6.3 out of a 7 to a 5.9 right away. But other media, reputable media, come out with the 6.3. And even if it was a 5.9, it's on a scale of 7. And so each point on the Japanese is 1.4 on the Richter scale. So that would have been an 8.4 uh, Richter scale if it was just a, what they claim after a 5.9, but it's not a 6.1, it was probably higher. They're not gonna tell you anything, only the lies and the fabrications. 
that there's the fuel pools are somehow 190 foot high, but when you look at the building, you know it's not. You know what the fuel pool is supposed to look like, but you're not gullible, are you? The media is not, they're just lying, right? The media knows the building on the left and the picture they're shown on the right are not the same, but they come out and done that to you, right? BBC done it to you on the left, showed you beautiful fuel pool. Now they're not gonna tell you about the earthquake that shook whatever's left of the building on the right. CBC News burnt us. RT done the same thing, showed us a beautiful pool inside a destroyed reactor on the right. The pictures I put there. Here's TEPCO's official picture, beautiful fuel pool, and on the on the le on the right, the pictures I put there showing you what it really looks like. On the right again, I put those pictures in the left. The center is motherboard, a major media connected to voice. Here's uh, physics.org, one of the biggest science journals on the planet, telling you the fuel pool on the left is the one on the right. So when I say to you the media is lying about this earthquake, and they've been covering it, this last earthquake on the 22nd was major releases. It was quite a long distance, it was offshore, compared to the one we had today, it's brutal. What they got done now. There, there's something really bad coming our way in the next few days. It's time to batten down the hatches for the next couple of weeks. Is this ever going to end? No. Are they going to keep deceiving everybody? They don't care. It's the nuclear industry would rather kill the planet than call out the nuclear industry for what it is. They will kill this planet like they were doing. We got 4 million species missing from the Pacific Ocean. It's an extinction event in British Columbia, Canada. Now, this earthquake wasn't offshore, right? Like the one on the 21st of November. This was right under Fukushima power plant, literally. This is on land we're talking about. Not offshore, but that story is still going uploaded all day, every day, ever since. I've never seen an earthquake where they done that before. For over a month after, every day they kept uploading pictures and the same story all over the web. And YouTube is polluted every day with the same story for the last 40 days. Something happened like I told you in that video when it happened in November. And I'm telling you again, I'm warning you, I'm begging you, people, to pay attention. We had an event. Japan is out of control. They've lost complete control of those reactors. Now, here's what happens. Because we know they shook all those plants. There's all those other facilities that got wiped out in the tsunami. The, the radioactive fallout works like this because we have records of what happens shortly after. We can expect another load to come into our coastline. And in, in the rain, you can expect something like 20 million. Now, 55 is an evacuation zone. 55 in a liter is an event. 200, 20 million particles in a liter is a cat catastrophic event. It's an extinction event for insects, larvae, uh, tadpoles. And now we find out the entire coastline of Canada, British Columbia has been wiped out in six years, completely wiped out by the end of the second year. It went from a smorgasbord to a handful of algaes. Now in that same depiction, What's coming at us right now is going to be the basic same kind of scenario. It's kind of it, because they're hiding it. There's no, the only reason they're hiding it is because something happened. And so in a leader, you can expect to find 20, 10 times more, 132, 30 times more, 133. That's the ratio it's created in like iodines. It's not just one iodine. It doesn't work that way, no? Let me see if I can find those numbers for you. Hang on. Yeah, 
Uh, I don't got enough on my computer, do it. It's okay, next time. There we go. And so, curium isotopes, look at all the different isotopes. Think about all these different isotopes. Think about the same thing for americium. And think about plutonium. All the different isotopes. So when we talk about 20 million particles of just iodine-131, you got to think about all the other isotopes in the same uh, category that are created at the same time, and they're all harmful. They're man-made. That's coming at us right now. That's how this works. Now, back in uh, the original headlines, we did get a lot. There was dispersal models. This model is applicable today because we know with the news blackout, something's happened. Something bad has happened. MSNBC, Fox, did they pop out earthquakes like, like farts, you know? Uh, uh, <laughs> probably a poorer one. But how, how come a 6.3, which is a 9 on the Richter scale, right on land, right by the reactors that have melted down, gets no mention in any media except for a couple in Japan that initially reported on it? Because it's Japan. It's very interesting and frightening, horrifying. This is a fallout of just a few isotopes for just a couple of days' releases, not based upon the pictures I showed you earlier of the reactors, the destroyed reactors. But this is another model. That's another model of the dispersals. Notice how they come out and showed you this model to deceive you, manipulate you, and never bother coming out and showing you the real models that existed. Like the models of British Columbia, Canada, southwestern British Columbia. It was all of British Columbia. You can't have snowstorm of radioactivity coming across the Pacific and just hit one little spot. It was a friggin' snowstorm. It's just the way they word things. And I know I burned through a lot of this. This was original. This is what we expect now over the next three, four, five days. This is what you have to work on because no one's going to tell you the truth. We know it's bad. It's a bad earthquake. Even if it was just a 6.3 on a 10, close underground, six miles down, close to the anywhere of the reactor is devastating. But a 6.3 out of a 7... Japanese scale is a 9 out of a 10, right? 1.4 for every Japanese scale is the Richter scale. Yeah? We're, like, this is out of control. This is out of control. And we're begging for someone to step up and do something or say something, but it looks like it's on our shoulders. It looks like it's up to us to say anything every time. The original quake was felt in Florida way back in the day. The fallout was recorded on the vegetation because it does, it came in. That's what it looks like. What do you take? It's, it's, it coats everything. It sticks to everything. It's electrically charged. It bonds. It assimilates. It's salutable in the water. You drink water? You, uh, in your coffee, your tea, your drinks? Lands on everything. Your door handles, your tools outdoors, your plants, your food outdoors. Shocking. We got to grow in greenhouses only. That's not going to stop it, but it's going to help, help get a massive amount from landing on your product and your soil around it. You can't stop it, but you can, you can minimize it down to less than 5 or 10% by doing that. It's a hell of a lot better than just dosing all the time. Air plumes caused, airborne plumes caused significant disposition. That's more appropriate music when you're talking about TEPCO or media or your universities or institutions. Florida got pounded, man. You know, back in the day, it was well known. You, like, look at the people scrubbing the radioactivity these people all died of illnesses, autoimmune deficiencies, illness and diseases 
over the next couple of decades. It takes a couple of decades for typical doses to get you, kill you, but there's 1,800 diseases, illnesses, autoimmune deficiencies will show up before the cancers. There's Alzheimer's, dementia, autism. But it shows they knew way back in the day, in 55 and 63, how bad this stuff was. There was no illusions how bad this was back then. Now they're saying it's like bananas and potato chips and walking in the sunshine. But we knew way back in the day that the radioactive fallout that they were doing in the testing had no problem going from Nevada to the other end of the country. There was a Google map of, of how far it was. There's nothing. The, the wind doesn't stop there. There's no fence to stop it. It goes on to other countries and other continents. Sailors try to scrub off the radioactivity with brushes. You've seen those pictures just now. I'm just making you understand that we understand fallout and the significance and the implications of it and, and the impact long term. Plume crossed the ocean in nearly a straight line. They, they claim to stay together, which is ludicrous. Here's a real model. Over 468 hours, but it only includes a couple of isotopes. It doesn't include the inventories. Birth defects uh, hit records level in 2011, 60% statewide. List Fukushima releases along the west coast of the U.S. is possible... Culprit in mass extinction events. Well, a plume comes out, but it but that's visible. Most of the plume is invisible. It's still coming out of there. It's invisible to the to the eye, but you can model it based upon the properties and the principles of uh, forest fires or automobile pollution or industry pollution or dust storms that cross and add to your indexes, your pollution indexes. These are uh, well-known studies. These are all Fukushima studies. And this is what's happening to us as we speak. We're going to have another event of radioactive releases. I still haven't got a cable, haven't even ordered it for my Geiger counter. My cable got broken. Um... And so that's brutal. I'll resolve that right away, but uh, it's not going to be quick enough for my liking. These are all different models of the dispersal from Fukushima. You can see above me leaving Japan. It never stops coming out. Within a couple of days, it hits North America. Within a couple of days, it hit North America. I can probably fix that. So when I go like that, now my hand doesn't disappear anymore. Yeah, I like it. And when it disappears, I still didn't do the top part. I'm too close to the camera. I'll fix it next time. Should have pushed everything back another two feet. My bad. So you see these models. It never stops coming out of there. The models are only based up on a couple of days' releases, allegedly. But the models actually shows it never the whole time in each model that it didn't stop coming out. There's a little blurb, but that's meant that the other reactor blew up and then the color changes. No, we, we've had an event. They're hiding it away in full steam and there's, there's nothing we can do about it. Only try to warn people to pay attention. This is dangerous. What they've got done, all, it already shows you what they've done to us and how they hid it away. That full range of videos on my site will show you that deception, how they covered it up. And the players involved in it that covered it up, like Seth Dorn. We cover, we cover the reactors, the deception, how the truck is not used to put water in a pool that doesn't exist, is it? Right? You can see the fable in the top left-hand corner, the piece of the truck, like the truck behind me. But when you weren't looking, this is what it looks like, right? The truck is not there anymore, right? And they haven't got the fuel out of the pool over there yet. And they can't get in there. 300 feet close to that, you die. 
Seth Doran claiming he's inside of it at the top of a building that don't even exist anymore. When when it looked like that, he said he was in the building. Not then, but here. Not that it makes a difference because we knew it not there then and it's bloody well not there now. You can't get in there. It'll kill you. You can't get close to it because gamma shine, alpha shine, neutrons. Do you think that might have collapsed with a 9 out of a 10 Richter scale earthquake? Yeah. Because it makes... The radiation, this x-rays, neutrons, gamma shine, not being retarded by water, but I heard special water that they were using. The fact that that's, they don't have that water, there's a 300 a foot to 300 meter radius where you're going to get pounded with x-rays, neutrons, and gamma. And that will destroy the integrity of the cranes, the metal, the cement that's right by it. And it becomes very fragile. It, it does it on the atomic level. One ten thousandth of a millionth of a meter. Take a meter divided by ten thousand divided by a million. Each one of them by a million. And you kind of get where I'm coming from. Two million on the head of a needle. But it, it, it really, it attacks it in a, in a completely unique way. So they're claiming it looks like the building's behind me, but it doesn't. Right? It's torn down. And it still doesn't. No matter how you look at it, these fuel pools don't fit in the building, do they? How can they? That was the lie. They already lied to you repeatedly. Reactors all along the coastline. See the red is where all the people died. The yellow, that's 400 kilometers of the coastline. The yellow is where the people are missing. And you can see the other depiction showing us the power plants are in that same 400 zone. And and they were destroyed. No different than the Nagasaki destruction. That tsunami, when it came through, wrecked that place. The releases from these reactors that are not intact but are gone in, into a meltdown are, are established. We know the signature of them. We know they're the tracers. We, we know that the lawyers are out there pumping tsunami map but not saying hey here's the real map not saying go over to the norwegian institute for air research because they're actually using radiation in their model no you got all kinds of eurad projects showing you the models you got uh, ir uh, france's irs and and many many institutions including canada canada fisheries and oceans Showing your models. I know it's fast. Take us, go back and watch it later. Stop it and look at it. Fukushima will start burning radioactive material. We know the jet streams are real. We know all that stuff is coming over also. We know how much they're lying about it. We know how many radioactive materials are doing it around the clock at the facilities. It picked up 30 million bags, but I keep telling you there's nothing to worry about. One twenty nine. Health Canada got three hundred times. That's game over. This background is irrelevant. Background is harmless, insignificant, normal, everyday, indigenous. We're acclimated to it through genetic superior selection, along with the insects and trees and flora and flora and animals and everything else on this planet. Anyway. Seven, six. Hang on, I'll find it. Maybe I won't. Who knows? Probably chop to do. Good shit. Okay, so... Back to that moment, that time of the day, that, that's the way it is. Hugs for everybody. We're back tomorrow with an update if we can find anything. It's a news blackout. They got no problem feeding us the earthquake 
for the last 40 days that happened way back, right? Yeah, no, no problem feeding us this earthquake from 40 days ago, being uploaded all day, every day for 40 days. But the earthquake that is going on this morning, nobody on the planet in North America reported on it. Okay, all right. Hugs for April, Stacy. Elaine, hug sweetie. Good day to everybody. Be strong. I got to wear my glasses. Delamine. Neil. Amthurst. Brendan. Was banned. Good job, Elaine. Thank you, Elaine, by the way. Elaine's moderator. Fans filtration. She does a fantastic job. And she's on her own. I don't question her decisions. I don't doubt her. I don't doubt her on anything. I, she doesn't have to explain nothing to me. She does. She she operates independent. She doesn't ask me. She doesn't tell me. She, she's independent. I know what's going on. The minute that I said I needed help, I needed someone there was going to do the job, and that's why she's doing that job. So I can get some peace. And do the things that got to get done. Hugs for everybody. We'll see everybody tomorrow. Once again, this is not a game. Take care, folks.